guys welcome to this week's video hope you enjoyed last week's and maybe some of you have already made that pasta sauce you have to let me know how it turns out today we are going to take you guys on a little road trip we're going to go to the Niagara region and show you some of the beautiful wineries there yeah we're gonna take the wine route that's called the Niagara wine route so many vineyards so we're gonna take the QEW all the way from uh, basically where we're from Oakville for example we're gonna get on the highway and we're gonna see some restaurants uh, obviously the wineries and a few of the towns that uh, are famous here in Niagara on the region ten minutes into the trip traffic there you go hopefully it won't be the whole trip so uh, we're also going to have to get out to take some of the side roads. Searching in the night. Well, Steve Perry is actually a Portuguese background. Yes. From the Azores. That's right. From Pico, Foyal, that I don't know. His grandparents. His grandparents. Yes. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, very interesting story. Great song. Anyways, it's one of the best songs of all times, I think. I don't think I can hit that note. <laughs> no one can. No one can. guys we arrived at our first vineyard uh, this place is called Angel's Gate yeah this is actually one of my favorites uh, uh, the location is a little higher up it's on the bench you overlook Lake Ontario you could even see Toronto and this is pretty much uh, where the uh, Niagara wine route starts and um, yeah we're in uh, Beamsville right now yeah it's basically Beamsville which is part of Lincoln and uh, just to give you a little bit of perspective from Oakville it took us about I'm going to say about 35 minutes to get here. Actually, my brother and my sister-in-law live in this area. Hey, Paul. Hey, Sarah. Guys. <laughs> Hi, uh, guys. Um, so, and let's say from Toronto, obviously, be about I think about an hour to get here at the start of the wine route. Uh, for those of you that have never visited this area, just to give you a little bit of idea, it's pretty close. Every, there's a lot of things within an hour. I mean, in the bench area, there's uh, at least 30 wineries, I'm thinking. So right now, we're going to go in and check out Angel's Gate. <music> We're about to uh, leave Angel's Gate. Um, looks like um, here and probably most uh, places are not doing um, tours. They are doing wine tasting by appointment. Okay, so uh, I think that's going to continue. If anybody comes during COVID, that's pretty much the situation. Uh, we also had pizza here before, and that's not even open due to COVID. So this is what's happening, unfortunately, with the pandemic. Uh, we're going to try and uh, go through the wineries and show what we can. Um, hopefully, you get a good taste of it.
look at this cute little spot. Right now we're here at a vineyard called the Rosewood. And it's so pretty, very picturesque. We're just gonna go down. They have this little bridge that goes across this beautiful little pond. We got these beans here. Oh wow, well, look at these. Yeah. There's beans growing here. <laughs> That's very cool. Wow, it's a big pond. Wow, that's so pretty. So this uh, Rosewood, uh, very nice vineyard. Grounds are immaculate. So you've got this pond here. We've never been here before. No. And we you are, like it? I love it. I think we're going to have to come back for a wine, wine tasting, tasting for sure. Yeah. I mean, you got to make an appointment. Uh, you probably saw the patio there. People, those people made an appointment and uh, there's no restaurant here. They'll give you some wine and cheese with your tasting. No tours. Um, but it, yeah, it's a great spot. Yeah. And it's close to Angel's Gate right next door. And I think. Um, and they make their own honey. And they got honey Amazing. and nice jam, sangria. Yeah, sangria. They make their own sangria. And I even saw a wine bible. Have yeah, you ever seen a wine bible before? <laughs> That's the only bible I'll read, actually. <laughs> I can go to church now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is the beauty of Niagara uh, region. You know, you got a lot within an hour of each other, like from here to Niagara on the Lake, Niagara Falls, the Bench, Jordan. And you got very small vineyards, wineries to huge, pretty big. Some of these wineries are not only doing wine, but they're doing whiskey and beer. A lot of them have restaurants. So it, it's, I mean, people sometimes stay two, three days. They'll get a hotel because there's lots of hotels or motels in the area and they'll just stay and kind of enjoy it right you could also do if you don't want to drive you can do tours right uh so you can drink a little bit more right so right now uh that's well, something you've got to be a careful bit more <laughs> you drink a lot more yeah <laughs> you drink a lot more <laughs> next we're one gonna, we're gonna head over to the next one guys we just stopped at a place called the good earth and uh, it's a winery and a bistro we were gonna have some lunch here but unfortunately they're completely booked um, and this is one of my brothers and my sister-in-law's favorite place to eat yeah we've been eaten here before uh, pizza and quite a few other things very good uh, they're and actually really known for their fried chicken the fried it's chicken so good. Yeah, we're craving it but it's better to make reservations very popular place, so we'll still show you around a little bit. So we're here at uh, Redstone. Carlos is just going to go in to see if we can get uh, some food because we're getting a little bit hungry. Uh, we haven't done any wine tasting. We have to keep our wits about us while we're filming and plus Carlos is driving. So uh, that's why we're just going to take some shots of different wineries for you guys just to see uh, where you could come and do some wine tastings. We're here at Redstone Vineyards. First time here, actually. It's a beautiful complex. 
restaurant with a patio overlooking uh, vineyards. We ordered, we were told that they had good pizza here as well. So we ordered a pizza, we're going to share it. But they have an extensive menu and uh, I think we're going to enjoy it. Our pizza just arrived, guys. Oh, you're going to get that? Yeah. Oh, Can't yeah. wait to get into that. <laughs> and yeah, Carlos has his uh, nice cold beer. And I'm just drinking water right now. Because if I drink anything right now, I will be done for the day. <laughs> So we just finished lunch at uh, Redstone and the girl, the waitress was so nice, she actually recommended a few other wineries to check out. So this was one of them. We, we have never been here and it's a really cute, different I think from the other ones, the way the concept here, also on the bench. We're sitting here actually on the, I don't know if you could tell, we're sitting here on Muskoka chairs, okay, just overlooking the vineyard. They have a restaurant that's under the tent. They serve here some really, it's a, it's a pretty, uh, it's not a huge menu, uh, but burgers, pizza, you know, salads, that sort of thing. And you can just, if you don't want to eat, you can just sit in one of these muskokas and drink a little bit of wine. Yeah, I think we might have to do Yeah, we might order some. Yeah, so that's the beauty of the, the lake, right? Uh, the Niagara uh, being close to the lake, and that's one reason why the, the soil here is very fertile. They get this lake effect. And uh, the latitude is aligned with France, okay? So that's why uh, they started doing these vineyards, I think, uh, way back. I think when they started, the first person to plant here might have been in the 1800s. Uh, 1970s is where the, I think Enniskillen got the first real winery going. And the rest is history because in this whole area here, I think they're close to 100, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, Sorry about that banging in the background, yeah. guys. It's, the, <laughs> it's, it's not a, a bomb. way to scare off the birds yeah. from the grapes. <laughs> Sounds like a cannon. Yeah, it's been going off all day. <laughs> I think we're being attacked. <laughs> no, but uh, anyways, it's uh, anyone that's traveling here, visiting from wherever you're coming from, from Italy, Portugal, uh, this is one area they should, it's a great day, day trip for sure. If you're going to tour a lot of wineries, it might be a good idea to maybe rent a, a hotel room. <laughs> yeah, or get someone to drive like, a, you know, that doesn't Designated train. Designated driver. Yeah, exactly, because there's just a lot to do. I had in my list uh, quite a few wineries. I think we're going to hit half of them because by the time you kind of get into one, drive to the next one, stop, look they around. Probably less than half. Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, anyways, we'll see. We'll keep going. From this one, we're going to get over to uh, the Niagara on the lakeside. And uh, at some point, we will come back to here, to here, right? Yeah, I think we should come back with a few friends. Yeah, I saw some of the dishes come out of the kitchen there, and they were pretty nice, you know. And uh, uh, they had actually grilled, uh, outdoor grilled. I think they're cooking with wood or charcoal, which is one of my favorite things. Yeah, looks, I think it's wood they're cooking with. Yeah, and these muskokas are, they're comfortable. Yeah. They are comfortable. The yes. only problem with Muskoka chairs is trying to get out of them. <laughs> yeah, you get so comfortable, but it's doable. They should have one of these things that kind of push you out when yeah. you come out. Especially after you've had a few glasses of wine. Yeah. yeah. See you on the next stop. In April 
800 meters, take the regional road 89. Oh, are you tired yet? No, I actually still have a lot of energy and yeah. I think it's because we haven't drank any wine. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a beer. Uh, because we're driving, we're trying to be careful. We'll probably have a glass at some point. And, uh, but it's also not that hot. It's a nice breeze, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, so it's a gorgeous day to, uh, to see the wine region. I mean, we're seeing a lot of tours as well, a lot of bus tours. And a wedding. There's a beautiful wedding that's it, happening here. It's going to start, yes. Yeah, the way they decorated the tables is stunning. Yeah, my friend uh, Joe's niece uh, had uh, had her, her wedding here, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, it's a gorgeous place. And we're sitting in, in these lounge areas that they've uh, they've put put up here. Yeah, it's with like a little a uh, tarp. Uh, what do they call it? Luxury these? tarp. It's like a tarp. Y yeah. Uh, but there's different I think ones. There's a, a nicer name, name for it. Probably. <laughs> uh, they call them kites. Yeah, <laughs> sails like a sails, sail. Yeah, that's sails. Right. That's, that's the it. word, sails. Uh, but they've uh, actually the last time we were here, they didn't have. They've actually added this to it. Uh, these different lounge areas uh, for a little bit more privacy. Uh, but this is one uh, one of the oldest wineries. Okay, the Bosque family. Actually, they're French, and I believe as far as big wineries, this is one of the first ones. And over 20 years we I've, i don't know how many times i've been here uh it's always one of the wineries i like to stop by and check it out maybe we can have a wedding here yeah th actually this would be good for our, for a wedding yeah <laughs> oh that, that stumped birds <laughs> where did that come from <laughs> that was good <laughs> it's funny us getting married is always a bit of a fun, it's a, fun yeah, it's we, a, it's no a, it's like an emoji whatever you call it emoji emoji, emoji. that's it <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, it just to, we wanted to give you a little taste of what the this whole area has to offer. Uh, so it's just uh, uh, the rest you're gonna have to visit for yourself. Spend more time, you know. Pick the ones you like, the ones that may, may be more suited to you, uh, because there, there's just the variety is endless. Uh, we're probably gonna see another three more. Um, I like to make it over to um, Wayne Gretzky's. Um, uh, maybe uh, Jackson Triggs, Trias. There's a few Trias, a few that we'd like to try, anyways. Uh, but this place is 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 a French chateau, man. I mean, yeah. it's and we did buy so unique. Oh yeah, let's we check it out. A bottle of wine. Yeah, this uh, we've had this one before. It's a Chardonnay, and it's due 2017. You can see. Yeah, and uh, the wine region. There was a time that the wines here, I'll be honest, it weren't very good. But over the years, they've actually won awards. So, a lot of these wineries and the wine has is, there's a lot of there's very good wine here and it's going to you know continue to improve obviously as uh, new wineries open up with um, you know the the wine maker makes a huge difference uh, obviously the the terroir uh, the vineyards have been here for years some of these old vineyards so it's just you need some of the knows the wine what they're doing and how to mix them I mean uh, I'd like to learn more about wine maybe the, we'll take a wine course at some point well maybe you should just uh, practice in Pico yeah they got a lot of wine experts there yeah here are the best grape pickers in Pico in my opinion so yes, that's a good idea. we could bring some wine experts over from Pico. Yeah, maybe the Azores Wine Company. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's quite a few companies there that would are, are experienced in winemaking. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, we'll see you on the next winery. Yeah. See you guys. What do you guys think about the last one? Uh, culinary winery, Italian style all the way. We didn't go in, it was pretty busy there, but you saw it's, uh, it's a unique winery, uh, great concept. You actually feel that like you're in Italy somewhere. 
and uh, they also are well known for food and so forth. So now we've just arrived at uh, Wayne Gretzky's, the greatest hockey player in the world. Number 99, Wayne Gretzky. Well, it's a winery right behind me. And here it's not just a winery. He has a whiskey distillery and I believe even a brewery. It's been a while since I've been here, but as you can see, it's just so busy. There's even a limo. I saw another limo pass by and just the parking lot is just full. Hey guys so what what an amazing wow. place yeah i'm wait. telling you they really uh, they kept adding to this so the last time we were here uh they obviously didn't have as many restaurants uh i mean compared to now and uh, it's packed <laughs> we were blown away i mean there's different bars different restaurants there's a a cellar um experience well the you know did you, you know that that was pretty cool yeah yeah um there's a beer beer bar beer tents whiskey bar but just even seeing all the pictures of yeah, Wayne a lot of and history the here. If you're yeah. a fan, this is the place. But uh, I think this is an end destination. You can spend the whole day here. Yeah, right? definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, so we're going to head over to Jackson Triggs there. And I think that's going to be our it. last stop. Yeah, we're running out of juice here on the... Yeah, so <laughs> we'll see you guys see there. You guys there. Guys, we're here at Jackson Triggs, and this is going to be our last stop of the trip. Yeah, I'm actually getting tired. Yeah, it's almost six o'clock, and we started, I think, at about eleven. And we'll just show you around quickly. It's really busy. That's the thing with it's packed. I'm actually surprised it's this packed. Uh, so we'll just kind of just give you a little taste, like we did with the other ones, and then you'll have to come back in person to check all these out. Yeah, it's a little difficult to videotape when you've got people walking behind you, walking in front of you, but we, we're trying our best. So we're gonna take you guys in. Hi guys, so you probably think we're still at the, one of the vineyards, one of the wineries, but we're actually not. Our battery crashed. We were going to sign out at uh, the last place, which was Jackson Triggs. So we're doing this at uh, our friend Kate's house. She invited us over for a barbecue tonight, and we're here now. She's a beautiful house, beautiful backyard, and uh, we're fortunate that we get to spend some time uh, with uh, our friends when we're here in Canada. Kate's one of them. Before signing out, uh, we also, I also want to just thank you guys for joining us. We had a great time uh, showing you around a uh, little bit of Niagara region, uh, the wineries and all that. Hopefully you'll get to visit someday, all right? So let's see where they are. What are you guys up to? Yeah, drinking some wine. Yeah, is it good? Yes, it's very good. And of course, this is our friend Kate. And Hello, not, everyone. <laughs> not only is Kate a great friend, but she's a fantastic real estate agent. Yes. She's actually number one percent for Royal LePage in Canada. For Royal LePage in Canada. Yes. We might have to get Kate on some more of our videos. Yeah, I think you so. You guys are showing up very well here. Yeah, here. actually Kate wow. sold a, a few of our houses. Yes, yes. <laughs> 
many anyway, over the years. Many, and <laughs> many, many, many over, over the years. years. And not only did Kate sell our houses, Kate was actually a really good client of mine when I had my, my boutique. That is true. Yes. And what's one of your future trips, Kate? Uh, Pico Yay. Island. Yay. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, so we're going to end this video here, guys, and we just wanted to cheers you. And cheers. Cheers. And don't forget. And don't forget to... Like, like the us. video <laughs> and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one.